All right, hello, Miss Thibodeau's class, and welcome to August the 25th of 2021. Um, what I want to say to you is if you have any questions, if you're feeling a little lost about anything, you have three people that you can reach out to. Well, it may be even four, but you can reach out to me at cgillum at st. Charles at k12.la.us. You can reach out to your substitute teacher, Mr. Zush at um, dzush at stcharles.k12.la.us. And as a last resort, you can also reach out to your teacher, Ms. Thibodeau. But keep in mind, Ms. Thibodeau is trying to rest up to get well. So we don't wanna bother her with things that other people could help you with um, until she returns. One thing I want y'all to do is to start thinking about what you will be putting into your closed ecosystem and getting your jars. You all are going to need to have your containers by the end of this week. Um, containers can be found at the Dollar Tree. You can go to Walmart um, and get jars or anything like that. Um, so please. All right. So one thing I want you all to know is that your carbon cycle poster and CER, you need to turn those into Google Classroom. I understand that some of you may have already emailed that off to Ms. Thibodeau, but to keep everything organized and for documentation purposes, I would like for you to also turn it into Google Classroom. There is nothing wrong with turning something in twice, twice the chance that it doesn't get overlooked, missed, lost, or anything like that. So please make sure that you turn that into um, the Google Classroom. Also on yesterday, you worked on those Earth Spear notes. Please turn those Earth Spear notes in to Google Classroom as well. There are tasks under classwork in um, Google Classroom. Everything I did, I put it under the 1.1 since that's what you were on. Okay, so make sure you turn that information in there. Also, Mr. Zush is going to be playing for you this video. This video is like a 17 minute video and it's the last video where you get to look at the Biosphere 2 and what went wrong because you are going to be creating what's going to be considered Biosphere 3. All right. And so this video, again, will help you to answer that question that you need to answer on your lab report about what were, what were some of the mistakes in Biosphere 2? And then what are you going to do to ensure that you don't make those same mistakes? So think about the mistakes they made and then what can you do to make that better? So you want to have a sheet of loose leaf paper and just as you're watching a video, jot down some key facts that you can use later for your lab report. Then also at this point, you should make sure you have completed the two summaries for the articles that you were given. So you had two articles which were in two booklets and at the end of those booklets, they had extra blank pages. You could write your summaries there or you can write your summaries on loose leaf paper, whatever floats your boat, as long as it doesn't sink works here. OK, so whatever is um, makes you happy. OK, no, we don't want to watch that video. So here we go. All right. So then um, you're going to watch one more video um, before you do this one. but if human populations were to leave Earth, how would we sustain life on another planet? So your job is to start thinking about, so we're recreating. So if we had to leave this Earth, what would we do? So our experiment is specifically looking to find out if we could go to another planet, which we would have to create a closed ecosystem because we cannot breathe the air there. So you're thinking about what's gonna, what are you going to use in your jar to create your atmosphere? What's going to be in your biosphere? What are you going to use for a hydrosphere? <clears throat> Excuse me. And what are you going to use for your geosphere? Um, so this week, at the end of the week, what we're going to start doing is deciding what you're putting in your container. And then on Monday, you're going to come in with a container that has your geosphere and hydrosphere already in it. Okay. Um that's how we're going to do that. And then for the living component, we're going to do that later in the week. And either you can go outside and find some things around the school or you can bring things in that you want to put into your ecosystem. All right. And here's the lab report. So by the end of today, you need to have all the way up to the hypothesis done. So that's answer those questions, have done your research and then do the hypothesis. All right. Oh, hold on. That is my alarm. Sorry. You don't want to hear my alarm. All right. So anyway, um, this video right here is a short little video about the day after tomorrow. When you watch that video, if you think about the anchor, the anchor we talked about was what factors are causing sea levels to rise, right? That's the big anchor. That's the big idea. We drilled that down so that we could start gathering evidence to answer that anchor, but we drilled it down to um, what factors are causing sea levels to rise. And then we said, so if we have to leave this planet, where will we go? So this is a short clip of so if those sea levels were to rise, um, what would we do? 
So this is a picture showing water rushing into a city. So if this earth becomes inhabitable because it's overtaken by water, we're gonna have to leave if we wanna survive. So again, that's the whole reason why we're doing this project, all right, is to kind of recreate life on another planet if we had to leave here, all right? And then introducing you all into our next unit, which we're gonna be looking at. So how does the loss of glaciers cause the increase in ocean temperatures, which affects the sea lions? So just kind of tying it um, to that life component. This is a quick read, won't take y'all very long to do it, but it's gonna help answer that question. What factors are causing sea levels to rise? All right, so we don't wanna watch that, so I'm gonna keep going. And then this is something you're gonna work on for your home learning, or if you get it to it in class, you can work on it. Um, it's an article attached to this, as well as a quick video for you to watch. You can watch that on your own at your leisure. And then these are your vocabulary words to define. So by the end of class today, what we would like for you to have completed is watch the video on what went wrong in the biosphere. Um, watch the day after tomorrow video. Then you can start doing your research. Well, not start, finish your research and have written a hypothesis. And then um, the two introductory things, the quick read, and then the unit one cycle three engage that you can do on your own. Again, if you have any questions, problems, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, don't just tell me the problem. You got to show me the problem. That's what I always tell my students. So take a screenshot because that will help me to diagnose what's going on. Don't just tell me, oh, it's not working. Why is it not working? How is it not working? Because these are things I would need to know to help diagnose your problems. All right. So at it, that's it. So happy learning. Again, if you have questions, you know who to reach out to. And I will probably see you all tomorrow via this video. So have a great rest of your day. And again, happy learning. Bye.